Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm at the beautiful Tresco Abbey Gardens. This really is a very unique garden for Britain. It's on the island of Tresco, which is part of the Isles of Scilly. And because it's so far away from the rest of Britain, where it's about 28 miles away from Cornwall, they have various different sort of temperatures. So you've got all these tropical plants from all over the world which we can see here, which, you know, you're not normally going to see at many other gardens in Britain. Now, this garden, it was created in 1834 by a man called Augustus Smith. Gradually, plants from all over the world were brought here, and we can enjoy these really quite exciting gardens today. And it's not just plants you can see here. I have seen a few red squirrels. I've seen a few exotic birds. So I'm going to show you around some of the gardens. We get to here, behind me, that way. That's the entrance bridge and the people standing there, probably what they're doing, they're probably looking at red squirrels. And I have just been filming some red squirrels, so I'll let you have a look at that. So see what I mean? They've got red squirrels. Funny, that's where I was sitting a moment ago on that bench where I started the video. And I, I sat there for about 10 minutes just sort of enjoying the peace of the gardens. And as people walked past, it was like no one really noticed you're there. You just sort of, you know, you, you can get into these little pockets and it's like you're hidden away from everyone. So we walk around the garden. We're going to make our way up to the top and we'll eventually end up at the old priory. There's all sorts of paths off in all directions. We'll head up towards there because that's quite interesting going this way. Towards us that way there, that's the vegetable garden, which, um, although interesting, is probably the least interesting because it's a bit more like what you would find in many other gardens. We get to here, up over there is the eucalyptus forest. They give you a map, um, which I'm going to use during the course of the video to remind me what some of the places are, because it's quite a lot to take in. I've had a, a look around the site already, and now I just want to show you around some of the best bits. We're going to be seeing lots of palm trees and yucca plants, all the sort of plants you know you wouldn't normally expect to see here. And um, we can walk down some of these paths. There's some almost secret feeling paths. I'm just going to show you here. I won't go too far into it, but um, that way, that's like the eucalyptus forest. So you've got lots of eucalyptus trees to see as you go further down there. And while we're here, I'll let you have a quick look. This is the vegetable garden. See some apple trees down there. So this is what you get on a typical British country house. The ruined priory is still there, or part of, parts of it are. So we're going to go and look for that as well. So it's really going to be quite an interesting walk around in the ruined priory. Um, so that is the Tresco Abbey, where the garden takes its name from. There's also a modern Tresco Abbey, which is private. Walking down one of these many paths, I'm going to go up here towards the Shell House um, because that is really quite exciting. I think this is the Mediterranean part of the garden which we're just coming into now. There's a fountain ahead of us, just checking the map. Yes, this is the Mediterranean garden. Nice relaxing sound of a fountain. What we'll do, I'm going to tease you, the viewers, a bit. We'll make our way up there, but we'll go via some of the other paths. I'm not sure how many people are out here, but it has the feeling from the time that you've almost got the place yourself because people just can you know, disappear and get lost down all these many paths. It's really quite, for someone like me, an exciting place. This plant, it's like some sort of, I don't know. Um, <gasps> I did at one point, I was quite clued up on all the native British plants, but here, it's just like, um, you might see the old oak tree and that, but you're going to see lots of, and all the unusual things like eucalyptus trees, palm trees, of course there's going to be all sorts of varieties within those species. Get to here, see more exciting, we're going to sort of finish up, there's some lawns, and as I said, I've seen some quite exotic birds. Let's go down here 
towards this shell grotto that's just in front of us and uh, what we'd have done we should have come up those Mediterranean gardens which we were in a moment ago we will have come up another level and then what we'll do after that we'll continue going up another level and another level see there's the fountain where we were a moment ago I'm not sure I'm sure it could be an olive tree I might be wrong these these plants well, I was, I was exploring St. Mary's yesterday and I saw many plants you know, that you wouldn't see, but here, like you wouldn't see in the rest of Britain, but here's even more. That's the shell grotto. What I'll do, I'll, I'll take some pictures and insert them now. So there you are, I'll give you an idea. We're going to go up behind beyond the shells up here above to the top terrace and we should get more of a view of the gardens. Let's, uh, let's go and have a look. If you go down here, there's a nice little garden of palm trees. It does feel sort of odd to think I'm in the UK and to see this many palm trees around. I'm just going to pan around and let you see the gardens. really quite amazing. Let's see where we go. We'll go around here and then we'll, we'll make our way around. There we go. I'm going to do, I'm sure you have decided. I know I've already inserted a picture, but because um, there's, no, no, there's no queue to look at this, let's go down and have a look at the shell grotto. I didn't really want to come in here, Marco, because there's some other people, but um, now we're here. I've got it to myself, can you have a, a better look? So the mosaics are completely, well not completely made of shells, but mostly. That really is quite fascinating. So what we'll do once again, we shall make our way up to the top terrace. We'll walk along the top terrace. We can then go down to the middle terrace and we'll make our way over towards the abbey and see various other parts of of the garden. It's hard to sort of work out how big it is. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a huge place, but you're going to spend a long time here because there's lots of different bits to see. I think what we'll do, I think we're now on the top terrace is up there. We're on the middle terrace. So if we just go along the middle terrace for a bit, and then we'll take one of the smaller paths because I, I like yeah, the big paths are interesting but the smaller paths are even more fun they, they have that kind of lost feeling to them just go along here for a bit and it's as we come to here so yeah you've got like palm trees like this on the junction we'll go up here should get some more views you should uh, as we go higher up we should be able to see across possibly to St Mary's Main Island. Look at that, what an amazing sight. It's really, like I say, I just sort of can't get over it, the fact that it's so different from places I'm used to. I'm just seeing palm trees everywhere. If we're not used to this. In Britain, and there's lots of other nice, nice flowers to go with it. Some of them you will see if you go to, you know, your, your typical garden, but you won't see to this extent. Now we're a bit higher up. We should through the palm trees should be able to see the sea, giving the feeling we're really not in the UK. Oh yeah, and can you see over there that? Yeah, over there that is St Mary's Island over there. So I came across on the boat this morning from St Mary's. We go down this little path here, just because it looks exciting. So I came over on the boat, boat from Seahorse. Took me over from St Mary's. Yes, it's like I'm going sort of almost down into this jungle of <laughs> all these different plants. And for them, apologies for not sort of being secluded up on each type of plant, but this isn't normally the kind of plants I tend to come across on my adventures now. I walked around here earlier and you can easily miss things. I can see a pond down there, which I don't recall seeing. Which way should we go? There's another pond. Uh, 
Let's go down here. So like I say, we're kind of working our way back down the side now. And there's lots of, of bees flying around, as I mentioned. Red squirrels here, which is nice. Okay, the red squirrels technically are a British native and because of its island, that's why they've survived to be here. But um, yeah, to see some of the other plants. Oh, look at that, look at that, that is amazing. I can see two different ponds. I'll tell you what I'm tempted to do. I know an even better place we could go. I can show you a, a view. Um, let's go around the corner here. Oh, yeah. Now in this garden here, more palm trees. You can just see there is a pheasant just down there. I've got up here. Seems to be a bit overlooked, just a little path on these steps. It's a bit of a dead end, but it is a dead end. You can hear the drone of bees everywhere. And then, up here, look at that. You just get this fantastic view over, over all these palm trees and these really interesting, amazing gardens. So we came down that path over there. We sort of came down, made our way down through the rockery. You can just sort of see the heads of people bobbing along over there. So the top terrace continues right all the way to down there. The, the, Tresco Abbey, the house is down there, the ruined priory is further along there. So let's go back down again. Through there's all these bees everywhere and look at these plants. Probably here there's like a constant sort of drone of bees that work. Earlier on I just stood and watched one of them for 10 minutes, it was quite fascinating. On from here as we go down, get quite nice view of this part of the garden. It's, um, yeah, amazing. See that bee, it just flew right between me and the camera. Of course it is the bee's home, so, you know, it's, like I say, just great. And um, to, to visit, what I'd suggest the thing to do is come over either by plane or by boat, perhaps stay on St Mary's. There is other parts of Tresco. Um, I came over on the boat this morning, but I've got to get the boat back from New Grimsby. So I will have to walk around Tresco a bit and I'll get to see a bit more Tresco to find the boat back. Oh, look at this. So yeah, we came down there and then you've got this fish pond, completely goldfish. we can listen to the relaxing sound of the water. On both sides of the path, there's another, another fish pond just down there. It's like which, I don't know which way to look, it's just like whatever way you look, it's spectacular. Now I'm filming this video in April possibly would get busier if you was to visit later in the year but this time of year seems to be a good time to visit it's interesting let me see all these lichens growing on this tree which we don't tend to see you might see them up in Scotland but not so much down um, in the home counties of my part of the UK we go through now this I believe this is the Neptune steps it goes right down and eventually out to the sea that way and uh, if we look up up there there's Neptune himself, not the man standing there, um, but the, the statue, that's Neptune, the, the god of the seas. Now we're going to go around to um, here. Now this is called, I'm just going to have to check, the map number 15. This is the South Africa cliff. South Africa is somewhere I'd like to go, mainly to see steam trains, obviously no trains in this video, but or railways for that matter, but quite spectacular to see this the South Africa cliff. And um oh yeah, and there's some more gardens there. What we'll do, we'll go down and have a look at those. I think those gardens 17, that's the pebble garden. So let's go and we'll go down, walk through the pebble gardens. We're coming to see various sort of walls. Essentially here, this must be part of the old abbey. We will soon 
get to the old abbey. We're going to go through the pebble garden first. Though. I think I'm, if you look, I'm actually standing in the middle of a, a union flag planted in the garden, which is quite nice to remember. You know, although it doesn't feel like Britain, we are still in Britain. And then we're going to go through here. I'm trying to find our way to the Abbey um, to show you what I can show you of the original, uh, the original Priory. It must be, well, it's unique for a Priory to end up in, you know, in this sort of world of all these gardens. I think some of the, I think, yeah, some of the big hedges, it's almost like they're planted to be like part of the Abbey. That's the other end of the South Africa cliff where we were a moment ago. Now to show you the very obvious bit of Ruined Abbey, well actually firstly up there, that is the Tresco Abbey of today, that's private so we're not going to be going up there. Every now and then I do come across these odd bits of artwork, well, I say odd, um, it's not my kind of art, but yeah, they are dotted around the garden. I think if we go around here, we're, we're right at the extremity of the site now, yeah, so there's a gate there, so I think it's a dead end down there, which leaves us with only one place to go, the well garden, and then that will we'll go through the well garden into the ruins of the abbey. I think it's the best way to do it. So just go through this gate here. Thank you. Excuse me, please. Thank you. So look at this. This garden is really quite amazing. All these more, I don't know, these giant ferns, I think. Um, here's the well, anyway. Don't want to drop the camera down, but I promise you it does go down. Put an old pump there. We can go through here. Eh? More of this uh, modern art, and now well, I think that path down there that will take us back to where we started. We go up here, ah, oh, and finally, we are in the ruined abbey now. It's, a, it's quite hard to work out what was what. I'd have to see a plan of how the abbey was, but that's quite unmistakably part of a ruined abbey. But I'm not sure if this was a church or a cloister or exactly what I'd love to have seen the abbey in its day I mean it must have been there are some abbeys you know off at these islands out the way probably one of the most fa famous is Iona but this one really is you know a long way from anywhere this must be part of the old burial ground from the monastery you see various graves stones um the same not whether these are monks I'm not sure they're buried but certainly not many monks get buried among palm trees give you another look at the abbey So from here, we've, we've done most of the garden now. Okay, I've shown you around fairly quickly, but if you were to visit, you'll find things I haven't shown you. I can't show you everything, and I don't want to show you it, because I want you to come and explore it and discover it for yourself. Uh, where's this going? Um, it's, 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 I'm constantly thinking, right, do I go up that path, this path? It's just like whatever way, really, whichever path you take, you won't be disappointed. Oh, yeah, I think we're still in part of the abbey down by the walls. I mean, they may have been altered a bit. Um, I'm going to head now towards this little doorway here. My plan is to finish up on one of the larger lawns, but there's these little pockets, like these little rooms, like where I started. Here. And it feels like you can just sit there and people, you know, people walking past, and they don't really notice you. Right, yeah. Where do we go? Let's go down here. Oh, I see where we are. We're back on the Neptune staircase going up there. Um, let's go through, through the very sort of jungle-like area. Yeah. Well, somewhere around here, that's quite a nice lawn. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it feels so much like we're in the jungle. Um, yeah, that's what it's heading for. There's so many other paths to explore that it's, um, you, you need a good few hours here. And then we're going to finish up in this nice 
grassy area here with palm trees and pheasants it's just really nice so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment do come visit the owls of silly yourself